Now I will mill this lower part away so it be, will be flush here and uh, they are supposed to work like this and then you don't need this part below looks like this and I have uh, seven more to do and I do that also off, com off camera I have a confession to make when I made this base plate and top plate I didn't think of that these arms when they these gears are mounted the holes these two holes are too close it isn't enough space for this as you can maybe see here so what to do well oops I uh, made a new top base plate, this one, with the holes uh, in the correct space, and I also made a new top plate, like this, and I even made these two items new and uh, I uh, changed from uh, M4 to M5 and uh, I'm gonna use this threaded rod that will go here and uh, in the end of this I will make something like this that uh, will go th through this stop here and through this and uh, some kind of uh, uh, locking here lock ring or something we'll see but uh, that's the next thing to do, this item. Here's the plan about this. I will uh, turn this down to 30 millimeters diameter, so it will suit this hole here. And uh, then I will drill it so this uh, threaded bar can go through and then I will cut it off. I think I forgot to mention 30 millimeters length and I also will it uh, what um, and I also will uh, thread it out the out
Yeah, about seven. Let's see if this fits. Yeah. Okay. So next thing to do is to thread this with M7 and then screw on this uh, modified M7 nut. It's uh, I have milled it down so it's a lot thinner than uh, it used to be. And screw this on here and lock it with some Loctite and then drill the hole through this so that this uh, threaded bar M5 can go right through. That's the plan. Yeah, that will be enough. I will now cut this down to about one millimeter.
and uh, here is it. So So and the nut will be uh, locked tighter. I will need uh, some kind of handle for this threaded rod and I was thinking of making something out of this. Okay, time to do some nerding on this. I will now drill a hole and thread it with M5. Cutting off.
And here, here are the finished uh, knob, I think it should be called. This project has now come to its end. All the parts are made of this mini scissors jack and I have mounted all the parts together and here we have the finished scissors mini scissors jack mini version I should say and it looks like this and I can adjust it as you can see in different heights you gotta put a little pressure on the top when you lowering it down and it goes down to about there and uh, instead of using uh, this machinist jack as a support I can now use this mini scissors jack and support it like this. I think that will work pretty good. Thank you for watching this.